Flipsheet's an industry-leading no-code platform that has tons and tons of potential. So the question for you is, does it have enough potential to meet my needs? I'm gonna take this video to talk broadly about the AppSheet platform and its capabilities. Uh, this is a longer video because AppSheet can do a lot and there's a lot that you may need to consider to uh, determine if AppSheet is the right fit for you. Because this is a longer form video, down in the description, I've got timestamps for different parts and segments of the video covering the various topics and points that you might be particularly interested in. If you just want a quick summation, hop to the end of the video where I kind of give my concluding thoughts. And then you can bounce back to the other sections that may have been more interesting to you uh, based on my concluding thoughts. So thank you for watching and I hope this helps you make a great informed decision on your no-code solution provider. So here we're looking at a, a example of a pretty robust project management system uh, ERP for a small business uh, type of application. Um, this app covers CRM functionality, it covers project management, it covers time tracking, document generation, contract follow-up, invoice creation, uh, all sorts of stuff as well as uh, linking to other applications that the business might find useful uh, in different cases. So we're going to kind of explore uh, behind the scenes of this application and uh, you know take a look at uh, what makes this functionality valuable and what we can and can't do inside of AppSheet. So first things first, what type of data can you connect to AppSheet? So AppSheet supports connections to most cloud data sources, cloud spreadsheets such as Google Drive, Office 365, Smartsheet, Dropbox, Box, um, but you can also connect business grade data sources such as Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, PostgreSQL, um, basically anything that's in a tabular data format, you can bring in to AppSheet and make a data source to power your application. Um, you also have something called an OData connector, which allows you to connect to uh, certain types of API uh, data layers that are built with the OData uh, framework. Moreover, in AppSheet, data sources are able to be relationally connected. And AppSheet gets a, most of its visual functionality and visual interfaces from your data and how it's relationally connected to other data sets inside of your application. So most business applications are based on this simple uh, data relationship principle. Um, so it covers a wide variety of use cases inside of a business. From a user interface standpoint, uh, AppSheet allows you to build intuitive, data-driven, and even automated user interface for your applications. This is a little bit different than some platforms that may be drag and drop, or you have to write HTML, or some sort of uh, Swift or Java to generate your user interfaces. AppSheet takes a step out of the process for us by understanding that most user interfaces and business applications look very similar to a handful of different forms um, that are populated by tabular data. And so AppSheet has distilled for us uh, kind of about a dozen key view types. You have your table views, um, like a spreadsheet. You have your uh, single record views. You have calendar views, charts, maps, uh, dashboards of multiple views put together. Um, you also have some uh, more fancy views such as decks, cards, and galleries that allow you a little bit more um, design leverage to build something that's visually interesting or uh, kind of communicates your point in an intuitive fashion. So each of these views is put together automatically by AppSheet. You just kind of point it to a data source and it generates the view automatically and you have some uh, different options for customization of these types of views. Um, so we're looking at a table view here. I can change the sorting order, the column order. I can do some grouping and aggregations, uh, change some user experience elements around with the column width. Um, there are also some very interesting quick edit features so you can interact with it uh, similar to a spreadsheet, uh, things like that. Form entry user interface components are controlled actually at the table level 
So instead of uh, in the user interface menu, your main controls are actually at the, the table level. So you would open a table and go in and you're going to assign a data type to each of these fields. And these data types uh, extend beyond just standard uh, database data elements like integer uh, or varchar or something like that. Um, you can see there's a few dozen different data types and these data types are actually attached to a certain type of UI. So we can see here that progress is uh, an enum, which is short for enumerated list. And if I look at the properties here, you know, I've given a, a few options, pending, agreed, fulfilled, canceled. And we see that that populates over here in this form, pending, agreed, fulfilled, canceled. Uh, so AppSheet has the ability to generate lists from other tables. You have different types of numerical inputs that you can have some customized control over, uh, various buttons, true false fields, uh, and some very interesting fields like uh, signature capture, drawings, photo uploads, mapping fields where you're dropping latitude, longitude pins or uh, dropping pins on a, uh, a photo or an, another type of image uh, that you want to indicate some specific, or you want to tag this record to that part of the image. Um, so AppSheet has a, a wide variety of built-in UI components uh, for form in, and data entry that you can take advantage of, um, covers the basis for most uh, business circumstances and use cases. The big win here is you're doing a small trade-off for user interface customization, but gaining a lot of time saved. This saves hundreds of hours in the development process because app creators don't have to think about what is an intuitive design, how far pixel-wise should I space things, uh, what type of format should I use, fonts, colors, design schemes, all of these things that take a long time to code, take a long time to put together, even in drag and drop type of applications, you spend a lot of time fine tuning these views. And oftentimes, most app creators that are close to the business logic, they're not really equipped with the, the design principles and foundations to make these apps uh, or to make really efficient user interfaces. So this takes a lot of that risk out and it saves a lot of time and helps you focus on the business problem. So we have our data, we have our views, AppSheet also allows us to insert very complex logic into the application at almost every level. So as you're going throughout the app editor, you're going to find, um, we're gonna open up one table and kind of look at our fields in this table. You'll find areas where there's a little flask next to it. That just means you can insert logical expressions right there. And so we have one here that, uh, simply says, hey, reach into the parent record because this is relationally connected to a client. Reach into the client record and return their Google Drive folder ID um, into this field. And so that's just a simple um, mechanism there uh, for pulling some data from another table. We have here return the year value from a date field. This looks very similar to something you might find in Google Sheets and in their uh, cell formulas. Uh, it's meant to be a declarative, friendly uh, logic layer, uh, logic experience for people that are in the business world. So it's very spreadsheet-like, uh, but it's, it's extremely powerful. You can do all sorts of calculations, anything short of calculus, uh, AppSheet supports in terms of its mathematical functions, uh, lots of date, text, um, Boolean values, list generation, uh, pulling data from other tables, filtering, all sorts of stuff, um, including deep linking. So this helps build custom navigation that may be, um, you know, navigation between two different app sheet apps or filtered views inside of your existing app sheet app. Uh, there's a deep linking architecture that you can uh, build out here in these different formulas. Um, you can also use these logical expressions uh, in other places, such as filtering out data coming in from your connected data sources. So if you want um, users to only see certain information, uh, you can put security filters on a table to say, hey, I want the user to only see information that they've created. Or if their user role is X, Y, or Z, show them this information or give them read or write or delete access. Um, 
you're able to configure basically an infinite amount of custom user roles inside of AppSheet uh, so that you can have a very specific user interaction model uh, for a variety of user types using an application. You can also use the, that logical expression language to um, modify form fields so that there's conditional validation on forms. Uh, so if I'm going to add a contract to this particular uh, project, it says, hey, this entry is invalid. You could customize that message. Uh, maybe it's invalid because this, this client doesn't have that project associated to them. Along with the logic layer, AppSheet gives you the ability to create automations in your user workflows. So a common business process is, hey, I need you to fill out this form. This form needs to go to this person for approval. We need to uh, scan a copy of that and save it in our Dropbox. And then I need to, once it's approved, it needs to go back to the creator and they need to be notified that that's approved. AppSheet can help automate those workflows uh, and, and process automation um, with their behavior uh, tools. Uh, so looking at a particular workflow, we can see that, uh, let's see here, every time a hourly contract is created, so target data, the contracts table, update event, adds and updates, and maybe some special condition, we're going to send an email to this person. We're gonna fill out some email content based on row data from our application and we actually have an attachment template here that goes to a Google Doc that has merge fields all over the document. So you come out with a formatted PDF attachment in this email that you could then store in Google Drive or something like that. Um, so this automated document generation is extremely useful for intra-business uh, scenarios. You can generate all sorts of attachments. You can do PDF, Excel files, CSV, JSON bodies, um, text files. You can also use these workflows to send push notifications to your users, text messages to your users, um, change some data in your application, or send information to a third-party system via an API webhook. So let's say you have, you wanna sign documents with DocuSign. You can send data from AppSheet to DocuSign, pre-fill some document, um, and then have that sent out to the customer or whatever wanna work, whatever type of workflow you wanna put together. Uh, AppSheet allows this, this external webhook to be sent off from various types of actions within the app uh, that allow you to connect external services and take advantage of the wide array of third-party platforms and open APIs uh, that are out there to uh, achieve that functionality that you're looking for if it's not built into AppSheet. And again, as I mentioned earlier, a no-code platform allows you to create not just one application, but really a suite or an ecosystem of applications across your business. And so sending data from one application to another, sharing data sources, deep linking your users across your apps um, to help manage you know, clean user flows throughout your business processes uh, is totally achievable and totally doable inside of AppSheet. AppSheet is actually trying to democratize machine learning as well. And so they allow you to generate predictive models inside of your application. Uh, that helps you do things like um, determine if a value is incorrect based on uh, a larger body of knowledge um, that, that this uh, record submitted by a user was an outlier. Um, or do things like OCR, which is optical character recognition. So scanning paper forms and training a computer algorithm to recognize what data is where and how to assign it to your data model. Uh, so this is really powerful for businesses that are using paper forms because they have uh, a legacy ERP and they have to use these paper forms for shipping or accounting and, or reconciliation. And so being able to scan those into the app, pull that data in and make it manageable and automated, that's extremely valuable to a lot of business use cases. So AppSheet is really growing leaps and bounds in this machine learning component. Um, and so there's a lot of uh, really cool value here now and more coming in the future. There's also a handful of other notable features. AppSheet apps are by default cross-platform. So they can work on Android, be deployed in the Google Play Store, uh, and incidentally on iTunes as well. 
You can also run them in the browser of any mobile device or on a laptop. So they can work full screen on a computer or handheld on your mobile device. Uh, the UI is responsive automatically um, based on the device you're using. AppSheet apps are also offline first, meaning uh, they have an industry leading offline capability, uh, which is amazing for field operations or when users are going in and out of cell signal. It helps maintain a consistent user experience uh, regardless of cellular service or Wi-Fi. So this is super important for a lot of business use cases. Um, AppSheet apps are SOC 2 data compliant. So they have top level security control. You're able to obscure information, encrypt data on the device, encrypt PDF and images. Uh, they have a lot of security features that make it robust and applicable to just about any business case that you can think of. You can do custom authentication. Normally, AppSheet apps are authenticated through whatever cloud provider uh, you have brought your data sources in with. So it kind of uses their uh, OAuth mechanism from that data source. But you can also have your own setup using tools like Okta to build your own uh, custom authentication portals for your applications, uh, which is really useful in certain circumstances. And AppSheet also has a suite of tools uh, for maintaining data governance uh, with a team of app creators. So oftentimes businesses will bring on AppSheet as a platform. They'll spin up three, four, five, six app creators or distribute the tool to anybody in the organization to build their own apps because it is that approachable of a tool. Um, but, you know, IT administrators want to make sure that uh, these apps are compliant with data policies and they're using the proper authorized data sources and not having permissions that are going to be dangerous or cause data loss. And so there is a team governance package that you can get to allow IT infrastructure to kind of have hierarchical control uh, or insight into how people are building their apps. So we've talked about what AppSheet can do, but where are the limitations on this platform? So firstly, let's talk about just general use cases that aren't really a good fit for AppSheet. Uh, the number one and number two use cases that I, I frequently find are not the right, uh, don't have a good fit with AppSheet are software as a service applications. So if you're looking to develop a multi-tenant software as a service uh, tool that you're going to sell and monetize, uh, AppSheet's infrastructure because of its authentication methods and the way it uh, accesses your data and um, its licensing model, it's not really uh, designed to support software as a service uh, use cases. So if you're trying to monetize the software, it, you can prototype an app sheet. It's a great way to prototype the base functionality, start working with your data models and fine tuning some of that stuff, getting a few beta testers in there to validate some of your hypotheses. Um, but you would eventually go to another platform to build a production environment for that application. The uh, other use case is point of sale. So this kind of encompasses, uh, I guess, AppSheet's main technical limitation, which is there's not an, a way for you to have a dynamic RESTful communication on the client side of the application. So uh, what that means, like typically a point of sale, you have to submit some credit card information. You're going to send it to a RESTful service. It's going to return uh, you know, a transaction success or a uh, credit card denied or something like that. And then there are, there's, you know, a, a workflow process that you have to go through and build on the user interface side to uh, facilitate these successful transactions. AppSheet can't facilitate a direct response from a RESTful API uh, at the moment. Um, and that's because of its offline architecture, like we talked about earlier. But um, so when you think about use cases like point of sale or things where you really need uh, that dynamic RESTful API communication. Uh, those use cases usually fall outside of the realm of AppSheet. Um, again, if you're gonna do RESTful API, you want to have a loop where you're sending information to your third-party service from AppSheet and then processing that back uh, and sending the result back to the database and then that can be viewed again inside of your AppSheet application. Uh, so again, you have to have that full loop going on uh, in order to uh, handle that, that data transaction. Public applications are usually not the best fit for AppSheet. AppSheet does have a public distribution model uh, for their licenses, 
but that is more for uh, small cohorts of people that you can handle the authentication with. So maybe they are business partners or common vendors that you use, uh, and then you want a publicly accessible portal for them to access their information. Uh, but there is already some sort of established business relationship there, and so it's easy to uh, tack in either a supplementary licensing fee or uh, just an onboarding process. Uh, but if you're thinking general public uh, applications where they need to access their own data and not see everybody's data or not just a form capture application, so you could have public form capture, that is totally acceptable. Um, but AppSheet's licensing model is not built to support uh, thousands of users that are signing themselves up to your application and, uh, um, uh, you know, seeing their own data. So that's like strictly outside of business, that's uh, business to consumer. Uh, those really aren't apps that AppSheet supports very well. One more technical limitation is uh, connecting to data sources like MongoDB or NoSQL databases. AppSheet is predicated on a tabular data structure and environment. And so connecting to NoSQL data sources can be a little bit uh, difficult. So you're basically gonna have to connect them to some sort of OData protocol API and uh, then connect that API into AppSheet. So that's a little more technical legwork that you're gonna have to do on the back end uh, or set up some sort of proxy for that data to get it into a tabular form so it can be consumed and interacted with uh, from your AppSheet apps. So let's say you've built a great AppSheet application and now you're running into some walls and limits with either uh, user interface components or things that you wanna do with your data that AppSheet doesn't support out of the box with its actions, workflows, and uh, you know logical expressions. So options for extendability on top of AppSheet start in the database. So if you're using Google Sheets, uh, you can interact with App Script or have uh, different uh, code-driven events or formula-driven events happen inside of your spreadsheet. So that will allow you to add that extra layer of logic and data transformation. Uh, you can even interact with App Script from a webhook. Um, there are different ways to kind of call functions if you deploy an app script as a, a web app executable. Um, so AppSheet is also working on some uh, more uh, codified or, or uh, documented methods for interacting with app script. Those are going to be out soon. Um, if you're connecting to a SQL type data source, you have options of uh, creating view layers and pointing your AppSheet data sources to your SQL views instead of the actual SQL tables. Again, that gives you a lot of flexibility with column order, with calculated fields, um, with column naming and security and access uh, to those database records. Um, you can also execute stored procedures uh, through triggers. So uh, you can either call uh, a third-party service or so set up some sort of API gateway um, where you set up an endpoint and that endpoint is going to run a stored procedure in your database. So, uh, you know, the change is going to happen in AppSheet. AppSheet is going to send a uh, webhook to that uh, API endpoint and then run that procedure in the database. Alternatively, you can uh, put together triggers in the database that will uh, call those stored procedures on add, update, delete, um, type of events inside your data. And then those database operations are usually performed very quickly and are often uh, available in the app almost instantly after you submit the record change. So let's say you're going to, uh, you're gonna have a form that has a uh, multi-selectable column that you're gonna scan and it's gonna populate a comma separated list of SKUs or um, you know some sort of barcodes that you're scanning in. So you scan a hundred things and you wanna save this record and generate a hundred new inventory items in your inventory application. Uh, so you would save that record, that would go to the database, there's a trigger that parses it out and loops through that uh, comma separated list and begins to build out all those associated records. Uh, most of the time that happens in less than a second and that information is quickly available inside your app. Uh, sometimes even during the sync process, it's already finished and loads, uh, loads right back in or populates very quickly if you have a live internet connection. So with that said, we're really only scratching the surface of what AppSheet can do. AppSheet's designed to support thousands of different unique 
business application uh, use cases. So it is a tool to allow you to take your creativity uh, to solve business problems and make it reality. We've seen that with hundreds of customers that have had incredible success uh, building all sorts of applications and, and using the tool in very creative ways to solve their business problems. We found that basically 99% of the time, users have been able to solve these critical and uh, uh, valuable business problems with AppSheet. Not always the way they first envisioned it, because again, it is a no-code platform, so there are limitations. There is a, uh, a sort of framework that you have to play within, but there is so much that you can do inside that framework. And we have seen just a handful, I mean, I could probably count it on one hand, the number of applications that were not a fit for AppSheet. Uh, so very, very, very few business use cases are not the fit. Again, I told you about the use cases that generally don't fit and so we usually screen those out early on uh, but once we start a project with somebody it almost always turns out to be extremely worth it the price to go uh, the price in in dollars and in time um, to go to a the next level custom code base to extend the tool further would be usually 10x time and 10x cost uh, of what it was to manage and run and build the AppSheet applications. And that's because they are so agile. You are able to change uh, your application's uh, logic and layout in just a matter of minutes. And so you can respond to changes in your business or changes requests from your users uh, almost instantaneously. And so that type of agility, that type of flexibility um, is really unparalleled in the market right now, and it's just providing tremendous value to customers. So again, I highly recommend you try out this platform. And again, if you need any help, we are here to help you. Training, consulting, development assistance. We love to help people see, uh, find success on the AppSheet platform. Thanks for listening, and I hope you take advantage of this great tool. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.